controlled uh, that traditionally wins the up and coming. Ten minutes out at two dollar ninety favourite is better land. Into the mounting yard we go and we start with a, a son of Fastnet Rock. He's a beautiful looking type Valencia. He certainly is. And interestingly, the guy gave him his first trial, Jace, over the, the longer trip. And then just to bring a little bit of sharpness back and inboarding back in, in the shorter trial. Don't often see Gay do that, but he's trying to get some uh, you know some energy into him. He's out of a Mr. C man. Now a lot of those breed enjoy it, but it's only out of the damn side. He's gonna take improvement today. He's tightened up a bit for the, the trials, but he'll take benefit. Two is a scratching. Three is scissor kick, four forty out to six dollars now for Paul Massar and Ty England. Well it's gonna be it's gonna say it a lot today is the query with the wet track. Well, he's out of a quest for fame there. That may well just help him. He was very good the other day and he meets the horses that he beat, I feel them better at the weights, including Betterland, a kilo and a half better. He's versatile. He beat them when he was at Canterbury when he was underdone, and he strips a lot fitter today than he has in his last two, so all going well. Edge in fitness on some of the rivals will be number four here in Liberation. Out to $7 from an opening quote of four forty, which was certainly unders, but $6 is a fair opening quote here. One, two starts ago, arguably, well, first past the post last start. Well, look, I've got no dramas with the, with the protest, but he... he he cost himself the race. He would have won and won comfortably if he hadn't if he hadn't done caused the interference. Uh, he was travelling. The wet ground's going to be a little bit of a worry for him. He's been on slow tracks only a couple of times in his short career. His first two starts had never excelled. So that's his little concern, Jace, coming here. But he's had two runs and a little three-week freshen up. Fitness-wise, he's there. Merce Salt, horse number five here, re uh, resumes. Only had the one career start. That was back in May. It was at Hawkesbury. Led and won impressively. Now, the, the stable has advised the stewards that it'll be uh, ridden quietly with cover if possible. Well, it, it, it led that day because it had a hundred yards on them. Um, it was a, a very moderate event, but it toyed with them. That tried well last preparation on heavy ground and did it, but you're never off the, the bridle, and that's the big thing. But he's a lovely cull. He's a lovely cult, and although he's going to improve, he's done a bit of work coming here. Shooting to win is exactly that, and that is a winner. Two career starts for two career wins. First up from a spell, now with Pete and Paul Snowden. Well, he's, he's got to step up. Like He's a nice horse. You can't do more than win both. But if you look through the, the, the quality opposition, like Felines he beat last start, and it was very good. Felines went to Tari. Or, uh, you know, so it's a, it's a different style of, uh, of race. Uh, nice horse. There's no doubt about that. He's a lovely quality type gold, and his trial was very good. He, he just got to think, was there enough to, to take, because this is a big step. Well, the favourite is number seven here in Better Land, Glyn Schofield and Peter Moody. Won at sale at its first preparation down in April and had trialled up nicely for this. Had no luck last time. Well, the biggest difference for a lot of punters to understand is that in Victoria, the big stables, because of the, the, the size of the state, can go all over the state. Absolutely. In New South Wales, you're not going to see Chris Weller or, or, or those, you know, at Bath or Bathurst or Taree or, or, or those type of yeah, tracks. sales to two hours away. Exactly right. And and the way the, the, the meetings are, are programmed. But this horse won at sale, but then we're wondering whether that form was good enough. He then came here last start in the Rosebud and was most unlucky not to win. He's already a winner on a heavy ground. That's why he's got the ticket, the, the, the seal of approval, and he's now favourite. The most experienced runner in the race is number eight in Lord Beckworth, and will go around uh, as the outsider. Well, this colt by not a single doubt. Um, he's first up this afternoon. His trials have been good, and they've both been on heavy tracks, this fella, up there with Paul uh, Paul Perry at Newcastle. The former ran his races probably doesn't match up here, but, geez, he's a lovely style horse. He's really, you know, blossomed uh, as a three-year-old. You talk about versatile. What about the jockey on uh, horse number nine here in Panzer Divisions? Only had the one start for a win at Kembla Grange. To be ridden by Kath O'Hara. She tells us the pick of the yard in the previous race and then rides in the third. Well, the horse that Panzer Division beat last at its debut was Basquille, who had the beautiful run sitting on its back. Basquille's come out and won two city races since. Won the break the record with James McDonald at Warwick Farm, then come here. Last start was ultra impressive. It's trialled since. We don't know how good this float bloke is. The wet grounds, he's a big concern, but geez, a lovely horse. He's $17. Uh, it's worth having a crack to see if he can find that out. And he's disappearing down the race, but uh, we can see the backside of number seven, number 10, sorry, Hero I Am. $15 opening quote has been taken and caught the eye in his Australian debut in the Rosebud. Yeah, former New Zealand, uh, New Zealand 
only had the one run for Chris and really just never got into the race, just kept working and working and working. Uh, and look, I think he'll relish this. The wet ground's his concern, whether he can uh, handle the wet ground. My tips here, I like better. So better land is moving in, shooting the winds away with Mersul and also Valentia. It's only three to move up now for the Synergy FX up and coming stakes, group three. And Mersul comes up. And Valentia will be the last of them to move in. Starters already at the stand and waiting for the last to be loaded. Red light is on. They're off. Better land broke in front. He jumped very quickly, but Liberation's coming through, and Valentia's showing a bit of speed on the outside, followed by Mersul. Panzer Division is uh, handy on the inside early on from Hero I Am, and then further back in behind them, Scissor Kick. Now, Mersul was trapped a bit wide, and he's starting to ease back past midfield now, but he's still a little bit deep, followed by Shooting to Win and Lord Beckworth. Liberation leaders, they come down to the 800 metre mark from the stable mate Valentia, and then Panzer Division, Better Land is running fourth, followed by Hero I Am, and then in came Mersul. With those horses there is Scissor Kick, followed by Shooting to Win and Lord Beckworth. So Liberation in front near the 600 from Valentia. And then Panzer Division, Better Land the favourite, fourth on the outside. Here I am is back on the fence, followed by Mersul. Scissor Kick in the centre. And then Shooting to Win and Lord Beckworth. So Liberation turns for home in front, stayed away from the inside from Valentia. Better Land's hooked out to the centre of the track with Mersul. Panzer Division down near the centre. Oh, Liberation bumped heavily with Valentia and there was a chain reaction there with Better Land and Mercer also copping some interference. That liberation is nicely clear over the concluding stages. Better Land's trying to pick up again. He's ducking off the track again, this leader, and getting up on the inside. Panzer Division and Scissor Kick and Panzer Division will win it from Scissor Kick and Liberation, who's thrown it away. Followed by Better Land, who got severely hampered up the straight. Then uh, Valentia, followed by Here I Am, shooting to win. Mercer copped interference as well, and Lord Beckworth at the back of the field in a real rough house affair. Well, it's a Quinella for Paul Massaro. This is very, very close, this. Well, I reckon the scissor kick's got the bob. It's going to be close. One thing we know is that Liberation will be barred from racing until he sorts out his manners, because that's not fair to the other owners. They've been polled like seven times down the straight. Forget about him costing himself the race. He's cost the rest of them the race. Kathy O'Hara's in front. You watch here. Oh. So this is very close. Scissor kick on the outside. Pen, pens of division. So Paul Massara, a great training if it's got the crown. The Liberation will run third. It'll lose that on a protest. Then you've got Valencia and also Betterland. Um, and then you've got Mersault. Both were just given no hope with Liberation hitting them. No fault of Tommy's berries. You can't stop Tim Clark. You can't stop a 600 kilo animal when he wants to go left. This is very close, Richo. Well, actually, the more that you look at that uh, head on, actually, there was liberation tim clark did nothing at all he didn't the horse is just veering out that's without uh, without vigorous riding in fact he swapped the hands of the whip he's uh, caused all sorts of issues here and if you've backed better lamb well you're just dead set stiff there's put that in the file of another way to lose your money for there for the punters but let's now concentrate on the on the close photo congratulations to the masara team and the arafield team they've cornelled the race but in what order will it be scissor kick for ty england uh, with Paula, will it be our own Cathy O'Hara who's just burst up on the inside and Panzer Division looked home, scissor kick charges late uh, Valencia's run a nice race first up just waiting to see it, it's the closest thing Rich to a dead heat still a photo, still waiting for a photo here, waiting to see the photo and the longer that it takes for us to see the photo gives the indication that it could be a dead heap we wait with great interest, well we know who the winning trainer is Rich, it's Paul Massara well this could be the best possible result for Paul he's um, it, right on the line the, the outside got the bob in scissor kick and made interesting but yeah. two very nice horses. Oh yeah two outstanding Colts, uh, fantastic we weren't sure whether we run them today, we decided this morning we would and uh, you know they 
they've got unlimited ability, these two Colts, uh, both by reduced choice, so uh, they've got standing potential and we're all very excited. We're still sitting there, I'm waiting for the earpiece to go off until we reach one or a dead heat. Um, you got no preference? No, no, not at all. I'm hoping it is a dead heat. Two group three winners in the one race would be a great result. You couldn't imagine that coming to the races? No, it's a perfect result for us. It'd be fantastic. It's coming. Um, where's the next uh, step for both of them? Well, I had Panzer Division morning towards the Spring Champion Stakes and obviously Scissor Kick heading towards Golden the Golden Rose. So that's the direction they were heading in, but they might both end up in the Golden Rose. You want to stand in and just, just buy time and wait for it? We don't know. This must be, I think it's getting closer to what you said, a dead heat. I, I, to me, it looked like a dead heat, so we'll just see what happens. What do you want me to tell them that? Or? That'd be fine. Thank you. Very <laughs> uh, happy with the dead heat, mate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'll come back to you in a moment. We're still awaiting this photo. Um, Panzer Division was in front for all money and right on the line, Scissor Kick got the big bob in and put its nose right down next to it. Um, they don't often go this long, Jace, in Sydney unless it's a dead heat. Well, well let's wait. Um, we will park the discussion in regards to the winner until we uh, have um, the numbers semaphored. It's the closest thing possible to a dead heat. Now, number four, Liberation will run third, but as Rich said, we'll arguably lose that. Um, number one, Valencia's run a race, and so is Betterland, who really looked to be running into the race at the uh, at the appropriate time, only to be poleaxed, not once, but on a couple of occasions. And the market mover, uh, Betterland, has been really unlucky there but well Kathy O'Hara I said that she was versatile she's one we think maybe of the winning riders we're waiting to see for the numbers and the longer it takes Rich the long the closer it is to a dead heat and just watching that film again I'd be surprised if we don't have fourth against third fifth against third sixth against third so um, definitely third and fourth and I uh, sorry fourth and fifth against third and I think I think there'll be three protests they're both going to weigh in Kathy got the older set, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Ty, why wait for Kathy? Um, terrific late, your horse. Yeah, he was. Obviously, uh, Gay's horse threw it away, and I thought I was going to run fourth there at one stage, and he didn't handle the ground at all, but he really jumped. Now, your number's gone up here, Ty. Three is the winner, so congratulations. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Well, I'll get Kathy. Now, that's a letdown, isn't it? It is a letdown, but anyway, it's uh, good for Paul to run first and second anyway. That's what he wanted before the race. He gave him a peach. The, the other one just got that real big... You're back in front after the post. Yeah, he's um, a bit unlucky there, I suppose, but he's a nice horse. He's um, he's going to make nice progression. He's got plenty to learn still, and, uh, you know, the horse running off the track didn't help him. He's a bit green, and he did it himself last start, and uh, today I think he was just lost concentration a bit when it did dive off the track. Well, stand here with us, Cathy. They're about to put the... Uh, there it is, the photo on the screen. Well, well, hello. Uh, I think Ray Murray and the stewards will have a little check of that. The, but obviously, up in the judges' box, it gets uh, you can see a, bit, a higher definition. But that looks like a dead heat to mine. We'll bring you update over the uh, down when we go to Mini Valley after this break. We'll have news on the dead heat, and we'll certainly have news of protests which will come your way the other side of this break. Yeah, I can tell you. 